Hello, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and in this video I wanted to talk about uh, the new waveform view and the new fade features in Pro Tools 12.3. So they finally added a, a long time requested feature, um, one that I've fussed, kicked, and moaned about for years into uh, Pro Tools 12.3, which is the ability to see a waveform as you move it across the timeline, across tracks, things like that. So for example, say I wanted to line up these two uh, vocal lines here a little bit, and I need to nudge this one back in the timeline some. So if I was to grab it and move it, you can actually see the waveform now as you're moving it, and you can also see the grid lines underneath the waveform. So if you're trying to tighten stuff up to the grid, uh, things like that, you can actually see the grid line to put your transient onto it. Another new feature um, has to do with your fades and how they're handled. So here under your preferences, uh, under editing, we got preserve fades when editing and auto accept adjust bounds. So let's look at those. Um, normally in Pro Tools, if you go to create a fade and you don't have enough audio uh, with the two adjoining clips to create the fade uh, where you place your selection, you'll get the dialog pop up that says there is insufficient audio data within the fade bounds. So you had two options here. You can just skip it or you could tell it to adjust bounds, in which case, if you tell it to adjust bounds, it'll put the fade uh, up to the point where one of the clips um, no longer has audio. Now, with this new preference, if you hit auto accept adjust bounds, uh, you wanna create a fade there, hit your fade, it'll just automatically uh, adjust the bounds to where it can create the fade without you having to go through the dialog box. So the other new feature I want to talk about is the preserve fades when editing. So as I showed a second ago, it's up here in your preferences. And um, to experiment with that, so let's create a fade. And so in this case, um, there was enough audio to complete the fade within the area I selected. But if I try to move any of the clip, I immediately lose my fade. So what this does, uh, let's turn it on, is it lets me actually still move this clip around um, even though there's a fade attached to it and it will still use um, this center point here as my starting point. So if I move the fade, assuming there is enough audio on each side of the clip, the fade will just change links. And when it eventually runs out of audio on the clip, you can see here it did a fade in and fade out of the clip. These may not seem like giant new features, but being able to see the waveform when you move the clip around or see the grid underneath of it is a big deal. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.